Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are going to make a test video. We are going to compare two airbrushes. The Harden and Steinbark Infinity CR Plus with 0.15 needle and the Harden and Steinbark Evolution with 0.2 mm needle. As you may already know, I use for my projects the Infinity. But Harden and Steinbark kindly sent me an Evolution. So I thought it was a good idea to make a video to compare them. Let's see them side by side. This is the Infinity on his box. And this is the evolution on his box. They both come with a small typical manual. Time to see their parts side by side. The needle cap is different and you can't use the one to another. The color cap and the nozzle system are exactly the same. At the back the Infinity has the quick fix end piece with dial that the Evolution doesn't have. They both can use the same needles as long as they use the same nozzles. The mechanism that hold the needles and the levers are differ a bit between them. The bodies are more likely the same, but they differ at the coating. So, let's check them out. The main evolution features are that it comes with 0.2mm needle, it has nickel coating and it has PTFE seals or else Teflon seals. That means that you can use strong lacquers without having any problems. The Infinity has the fine line nozzle set with 0.15mm needle. This is the smallest needle you can find in an airbrush. As the Evolution, Infinity has Teflon seals too. Also the Infinity CR Plus features a triple coating of copper, nickel, and high gloss exterior chrome plating. <coughs> uh, yeah, right. What's the difference between the coatings? This is the evolution after using it as a main airbrush for six months. He has a nickel coating. As you can clearly see, the spot that I placed my fingers has a blare. Even if I tried almost everything, I couldn't remove it. This is the Infinity, how it looks like after using it for about two years. It's like brand new and it is spotless. Also, the chrome plating is to protect some people that have allergies to some metals like nickel. Yeah, that's a bit rare, but if you have it, it's a big problem. At the back, he has the quick fix end piece with dial. This helps you to control the airflow of the color. I don't think that you can use it very much, but when you need it, it will be a big help. Both her brushes comes with an extremely helpful nozzle system. It is almost impossible to harm it when you change it or cleaning the nozzles. It needs no other tools than your hands. The levers are different a bit on the design. Rather than that, they are both extremely smooth. At the Infinity, you can also can adjust how hard or strong the lever will be when you pull it. Time to see the airbrushes in action. Let's start with the Infinity. I use black acrylic paint, diluted 1 to 1, at 15 psi pressure. 
The thinnest line that I could draw was 0.75mm and without trying the line is 1.86mm. These are totally my measurements and it's not of course official. You can easily see how clear and small lines it can do. Keep in mind that because the Infinity has this small needle that might cause you some problems. Because the needle is ultra thin you can easily bend it. Also you may have some clock problems. You must consider that you may have some difficulties to spray primers for a long time. You must be more careful with your varnishes and you may need to dilute the paint more than one to one mix. Infinity is in a high end airbrush and it's not for heavy duty jobs. One thing that I also noticed is that when we use small needles we need less pressure. For instance, if we need with evolution to draw a line with 20 psi, with the infinity we will need 15 or even 10 psi to make the exact same line. Now to the evolution. The evolution comes uh, with a needle 0.2 mm and as in the infinity you can use needles between 0.2 to 0.4. This half millimeter makes a huge difference when you're drawing details. Of course you won't be able to paint the smallest details but you also have less clock problems. In six months it clogged me only one time. Nice! If you are an amateur painter this airbrush is for you. It is very well built. It is very safe to use it for a long time without damaging it. It has great performance for his price and you can easily find spare parts. I use both airbrushes for a long time and I can say that I am totally satisfied. As I said before, the Infinity is in a high-end airbrush. He can paint the smallest detail and with his triple coating it can last forever. On the other hand, the Evolution looks like the Infinity but a bit downgraded. It is ideal for amateurs who want to buy an airbrush and not a toy. That's all for today, I hope to help you and enjoyed it. You can always comment, like and all that stuff and I see you in the next video. Bye!